Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a wardrobe clean out for autumn winter, uh, basically moving all of my summer pieces into storage and making it a bit more weather appropriate. Um, I think last week's video I was speaking about how it was unseasonably warm in London right now and actually the temperature has just dropped in a week <laughs> and it's a bit more rainy and cold like you would expect in autumn. So it's a good time for me to clean up my wardrobe and I want to bring you guys along for the journey. So initially what I'm going to do is completely clean out everything from my wardrobe, like completely clear out and just take stock of what I have already. I'm going to be doing maybe some try-ons if I don't know if something fits and I'm going to be looking to see if I want to donate or sell any items. Um, I've spoken a bit before about how I'm having a bit of a personal style journey right now. I'm kind of transitioning from uni and like lockdown, like bad fits to more of like a young adult look. And yeah, I'm just really trying to develop my style and I think this is gonna help, but a lot of my wardrobe doesn't actually suit what I want anymore. So it might be that I'm putting a lot of stuff away and then I'm going to be thrifting a lot of stuff potentially in the next couple of videos. I'll bring you along for that. But for today, let's get started with cleaning. This is my wardrobe like pre-clear out. Um, I've not been paying that much attention to it since we moved back in, um, in like Mayish time. So it definitely needs a good sort. And then we're gonna pull out everything that's not seasonable and put it away. So I've just ended up cleaning out one half of my wardrobe. I thought I'd just do it like this, it's a bit easier. Um, and the mess is absolutely real. <laughs> so let's get to cleaning and sorting and organizing. Okay, so as you can see, we've done half of the wardrobe already. Um, and now I guess it's just a question of sorting everything. So, I guess let's maybe start with these skirts because there's just two of them. Um, and I do like this one, it's like a pretty like polka dot print, but I just never wear it. Um, and I think it's probably time to just give it up. It's from like my uni days. So I think this one is gonna be sell slash donate. Uh, I'm gonna do some different piles maybe. So I'll try sell it first maybe. So I'm gonna pop it up here. The same for this skirt here again it's like a midi length like waterfall skirt the front is shorter than the back it's really cute but it's just not my style anymore i like the colors they're very like cute and springy but the pattern just isn't for me the cheetah print it's it's not my style these are from zara and they're like knitted like culottes so they're a bit um like cropped at the bottom and i just don't really like them anymore um i think they look i don't know they're just not my style anymore maybe they're someone else's style i don't even know if they were ever my style i think i'm not a massive fan of like this look of knitting um and like knitted trousers in general i find to be quite hard to wear it's just it's not worth me but maybe they'll make someone else happy i can tell already this is going to be a massive haul <laughs> Right, let's start with the jumpers now. I have this like oversized black hoodie, never getting rid of it because it's so comfy. So again, this is more loungewear. It will be going at the back of my wardrobe. This black like knitted sweater and it's a turtleneck. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know. It's not my favorite because the fabric isn't great, but I do really like the fit. And I do end up wearing it, maybe not like all the time in autumn, but a lot of the time. I don't know, I do have another one which is longer and is just like a more comfy fit. I feel like I'm hanging on to it for hang on sake. Like it's got memories for me, but it's not my new style. So I'm gonna get rid of it. <sighs> Maybe I will donate this one. I'm not sure I'd be able to sell it. I'll try sell it. And if not, I will donate it. So this collusion hoodie, uh, sorry, it's a sweatshirt. 
I like it, but it's it's not a flattering colour on me. And I feel like when I wear it, I'm not happy. And I put it on just because it's so comfy, but when I wear it, I'm not happy. So I am going to get rid of this. I'm going to sell it on, um, even though everything in me is screaming at me to keep it just for keeping its sake. But no, that is getting sold. Nike sweatshirt. This is classic. I'm not getting rid of this. This is just a cute like black sweatshirt you can wear with everything. Okay, this Zara like hooded cropped sweatshirt. I don't know, I never wear it. I literally never go to wear it. Um, it was really soft when I bought it, but it's like mohair. So it's kind of like, it's still soft, but it's not kept that like initial softness that really drew, it, drew me to it, which I think is really common with a lot of fast fashion like fluffy things they keep for like one wear and they're really soft and then you put them in the washing machine and they come out awful because the quality of the clothing is bad um i don't know mm. again does it suit my skin tone i'm gonna be on the fence about this maybe this is something like people can tell me to keep or not i'm gonna keep it but like in like a maybe pile um my blazer definitely keeping i've got a cute little knitted pullover which is staying perfect for like autumn weather this jumper not mine my sister's i stole it i don't like it anymore it's so out of shape probably because i hang my knitwear and i shouldn't and i'm going to stop doing that from now but it's just not it's just so out of shape so I think I'm not even going to try to sell it. I'm going to donate it. Um, I'll chuck the donate pile. Maybe over there. So I started like separating my wardrobe into autumn, winter, spring, summer. I think probably in uni. Um, when I was like going to a term and I didn't want to drag my whole wardrobe and on the train or like in the car or whatever. So yeah that was when it started and i've just been doing it ever since and like every six months or so or like when the weather changes i will pull everything out of my wardrobe pull out my like opposite wardrobe that's not out if that makes sense so if it's like spring summer i'll pull out my autumn wardrobe um and then just like switch over key pieces and do a bit of a clean up at the same time it's helpful but it is a process so i thought i'd film it this time um this jumper sweater vest even it's cute i like the knit but i think it's a bit too oversized and i should have got it in a smaller size i just don't wear it because it's too big so that means i'm going to sell it this turtle neck jumper i'm never getting rid of it's so nice so i'm going to keep that this top is cute i'm gonna keep it but it can be a bit boob slippy because it's a little bit big um although it is a 10 so i don't know why it's so big maybe it's got a bit misshapen on the hanger and it does that annoying like piling thing that all jumpers do um but i'm gonna keep it my black sweater vest definitely keeping i wear it so much it's a v-neck you can't really see because it's black but so good, so versatile. Also my green new sweater vest that's inside out right now, definitely keeping, so good. I literally haven't taken it off since I bought it. This is another gray knit. Normally this and the black one, this one here, are in my autumn wardrobe anyway, but I pulled them out early on like some cold days or I think to film something, I'm not sure, but these are definitely staying. Cool, we've just got a pile of random tops here. This is a little tube top. I love it. It's just a little like layering piece. Um, it's a bit small. I think it's an eight when I was an eight, but I still fit into it. So, and I think it's just like a casual, like kind of staple. So I'm gonna keep that. And I have the same one in black. So I'm gonna keep that out too. I have just like a cute little black cami um which i keep as well same with a black vest top 
long size. This is actually my mum's that I've stolen. So I have another black cami here, but this one is smaller. So I'm actually gonna sell this. I have a little like camisole again, but it's a halter neck. And I do have a few of these, but I find them really good in summer. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep it, but put it in the summer wardrobe white sort of like thin turtle neck it's not a jumper it's a top um this is really good really good for layering underneath like maybe my dungarees which i'll bring out so definitely going to keep that this top is really cute but too small for me now so i am going to probably get rid of it it has like pit stains in it because all white tops do that so I'm not going to sell it. I don't even know if I can donate it. Maybe I can recycle it. Ooh, I love this vest top. It's a little cute little cropped t-shirt. Um, it's very summery, but it's like a vintage Nike um, vest top that I just got one day from their Oxford Street store. Really, really cute, but definitely summer. Same with this cute little cropped um, top here. Summer. I have... Oh, this one's cute. I forget about this. Like a little knitted purple top, um, which is really sweet. It's a little bit big, but um, it's de definitely wearable. Definitely under something else, at least. And it's like a cute little layering piece. So I'm going to keep it out. Not going to get rid of it. But I'm going to see, especially with a few of these things, I'm going to see how much I wear it this year. Um... And then if I don't wear it this year, it's gonna go at the end of like turnaround for next season. Okay, perfect. Now we're on to the blouses. Um, little like racer back, quarter neck top. I'm going to keep, but I'm going to put in the back of my wardrobe with the rest of like the camisoles and stuff. This top, so nice for going out. It's like got a little slit in it in the side so it like shows your boobs and I'm gonna wear it tonight. So this is definitely staying out. This top, I think, is a bit mumsy. I do really like the um, like way it flares at the bottom though. It's really sweet, but it's just not my style anymore. I'm not a massive polka dot fan. Um, I'm not really a massive fan of pattern at all, mostly just striped or tartan, um, which you'll know if you watch my other video, tartan's in right now, um, and I've been kind of obsessed with it. But polka dots, not so much, so I think I'll sell that. A peasant blouse, and I actually got this from a, uh, what were they called, like during COVID, you could buy a mystery bundle of clothing just to, like help garment workers. Um, and this came in there. I actually already had a top like it, but I do wear them both. I just don't know if I need two. Hmm. It is really flattering. I think it's gonna be, I'll keep it, but I'm gonna watch out for how much I wear it. And then if I don't wear it, um, I'll get rid of it. Oh, sorry, sell it next season. Oh, this is the other one. Again, just like a little peasant blouse. And I think this is the most flattering of the two. However, I don't think it's the best made of the two. So again, I'm gonna see how it goes with wearing it. Um, I made my decision then. Well, oh, this is a cute little plissé top that I bought recently on Vinted. So definitely keeping this out. I can't wait to style this, I think maybe with like a heavy velvet skirt is what I'm thinking but I do need to think about how I'm going to style this because it has really long like flute sleeves so any suggestions would be so useful my Zara this is just like a layering top definitely keeping um but it's not necessarily autumn winter but it can definitely go under a lot so this is like a going out like corset top really cute with maybe a pair of jeans or something so I'm going to keep that out I do tend to go out more, like dressy out more in winter. So I tend to keep out a lot of my like nice going out tops even through autumn, winter, even if they're a bit summery because I can always throw on a jacket. Um, this top is like a one shoulder white top. I like it, but I don't wear it a lot. I think 
it accentuates my shoulders in like a bad way. I don't know if it's that flattering. I think I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna be really rude for this. Um, because I'm gonna thrift more, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this is my blouse, which is inside out, but it's gonna stay because I'm excited to pair it with some like wintry things. I can definitely layer it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna stay. I really like it underneath that green sweater vest I just showed. Um, so yeah, it's perfect for that. This is just a black t-shirt, classic, definitely same. However, this is like kind of the same t-shirt, but in stripes and I just don't wear it. I'm not a massive fan of gray, even though in my latest video, I did say that I really like gray skirts, um, but that's a bit different. That's a bit more high fashion. This just feels really young to me, really like teenagery and also a bit boyish and that's just not my style anymore. So I'm going to sell this one. This is just a t-shirt, a yellow t-shirt that has Barcelona, very faded print. It used to be like a lot more yellow. Um, I think I'm going to donate it. I don't think I'll sell it, um, but I'll donate it or recycle it, depending on if I can find a recycle because I'm not confident that it will sell in the charity shop and I don't want to send them something that they can't resell and then it'd be their problem. I wanna make sure that I'm helping them. So I'm potentially gonna find a recycling center. This is a white tennis t-shirt. Again, I don't really wear this. Um, and I think it's just more maybe the fact that I have so much in my wardrobe that I just glance it by. I do love a graphic t-shirt and it's quite cute. So I think I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to keep an eye on whether I wear it this season. Again, it will be one to watch. Let's have a think. So linen sort of overshirt. I don't wear it, which is a massive shame because it's really nice. And I think if it's your style, it would be like such a nice piece in your wardrobe, but it's not mine. I don't work and it's very like formal for me. Um, from like working at home, doing YouTube, all that kind of stuff. So I think I'll sell it, try sell it. Um, and hopefully someone that goes to an office will want it, <laughs> but not me. And then this shirt, I love a white shirt, but this one is too fitted for me. So I think I'm going to sell this one as well and buy something that's a bit more structured, maybe in a heavier cotton and a bit bigger, um, just so it falls better on my body type. Cool, so I think we've sorted out a massive amount of stuff for that wardrobe. We can get on with the second part of the wardrobe. So let me put away some stuff and then we'll go again. Okay, I decided not to put anything away yet. So I have pretty empty wardrobes and then what I've done is put everything I've already sorted on the bed um and then oh and also that is sorted uh sorry that's the don't that's the sell pile that is the donate pile that's the summer pile over there and then this is all from this wardrobe here so gonna go on with that now okay wardrobe two let's do it um maybe we start with the bags actually so this white bag, oh, so good. I got it for prom ages ago and it's beautiful, but it's ruined now. Um, all this is like completely stretched and broken. So it's just not usable. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is either see if I can donate it or probably just, I hate to say it, but throw away. Um, I, I don't think it's fixable at all, but I will do some research to see if it is. This like little clutch bag actually came with another like bigger bag and this is just like an inside one um but i have used it for like events beforehand so i think i am just gonna keep it as like a little clutch bag it, like just fits under the arm this cute little green backpack which i is so cute but i never use um i used it when i was in sixth form to be honest mostly so i think i might sell this I'm going to be popping a few, well, pretty much everything I'm selling on either Depop or Vintage. I'm not sure yet. I'll leave a link in case you want to have a look at any of that stuff. Oh, I have a little holographic fanny pack. Um, 
maybe not the style I'm going for now, but just in case I randomly go to a festival, I do kind of want to keep this because it's so useful and it's so cute, the holographic. So I'm going to keep that. This red bag, which I know I said I'm obsessed with red bags, but this one I'm not obsessed with anymore. Um, I don't really like this massive logo and like the heavy chain. So I think I'm going to try to sell that maybe buy myself a new one <laughs> i have this like fluffy purse which i used last christmas and then obviously it got shoved in the back of my wardrobe for warm weather but it's so cute so i'm gonna keep it um okay i think that is the bags let's get on um what should we start with maybe this because it's quite obviously summer i have my mum shorts uh like cut off ones which will be going away since it's not appropriate weather same with these white shorts, I'll be going away for next summer. Um, my linen midi skirt, I think will also be going away because I am gonna keep out a few of my mini skirts, but this one I don't think I can wear with tights. Um, I don't love the idea of it with black tights and I don't really like flesh colored tights. So it's not gonna be weather appropriate and I will just wear it next year. Denim midi skirt. I actually wore this quite a lot this summer actually um and i might end up keeping it out because i really liked it with my new denim jacket um i thought that was a really cute outfit and i still think the weather is good enough to be able to wear that a couple more times maybe with boots so i'm gonna keep this one out black mini skirt definitely keeping out for winter um because you can wear it with tights you can wear it with boots um and it will look really cute and then this leather midi skirt is really nice but it's a 12 and it just doesn't suit me it doesn't fit me on the hips so i think i'm gonna sell that one my white corduroy trousers which are actually normally in the autumn wardrobe anyway i just got them out early um but yeah definitely keeping these and hanging them back up to be used this year isn't it crazy how it's only like 11 mondays till christmas now when i'm filming this that's crazy it's gone so fast um black midi skirt actually slight probably slightly longer than midi yeah really nice gonna keep it wear it with boots um it is a bit light so it might be one that i put away when the weather drops even further and it's like snowing or when it's like minus three degrees i don't think i'm gonna be able to get away with wearing it these my denim dungarees they're really cute actually and i think they're very festively so i'm gonna hang on to them um even though i think well i think i did wear them a bit this year um but they're definitely going away till next summer these are like printed trousers and they're cute i like them i don't know if i wore them that much this year though i wore them for barbie because <laughs> they're so cute and pink i think i'll keep them um but just wear them for summer more like casual summer days they're not like high fashion and then this is a gorgeous play suit um sorry jumpsuit technically because it's long um with like a halter neck and like button-up detailing it's so gorgeous but i didn't wear it this year and i don't think it's my style anymore um so i think i am going to sell it even though i love it so much i think it's probably for me the color um, the dark grey is what puts me off. If it was like in another colour that I loved more, I'd wear it so much. This linen, like sage green jumpsuit again. I wore this quite a bit this summer. Um, but again, it's a very casual style. It's not high fashion. Um, I do like it on holidays and stuff. So I want to keep it. Um, and I like it with like a tank, like a white tank layered underneath. I think that's a really cute look. Suit trousers never getting rid so easy to wear um and comfortable blue like straight leg jeans i'm not gonna get off the hanger because i know i'm keeping them such an like wardrobe staple i have these black denim jeans um they're like really wide leg but i think they're really cool um and i love pairing them especially with like a dainty shoe just to like really contrast that like heavy denim wide leg with like 
a dainty shoe. So first thing, these cargo trousers. I do love them, but they're a little bit short for me. And they come with this cool belt as well, um, buckle. But I think it might be time to sell them. I don't know. I think probably I will end up thrifting something that's very close to it. And I love this like contrast stitching, like I said in the other video. Um, but they're just a bit too small and you can't keep something if it's too small. Okay, we're on my like more party wear slash like kind of really forgotten clothing now. So this is gonna be a bit random. Um, a cute little black bralette. Uh, this is quite good for going out, uh, especially with jeans. So I'm gonna keep this. I have this gorgeous dress, which just isn't my style anymore, but it's so pretty. Um, it's like a long maxi dress with like little waist cutouts. And I'm gonna sell this. This dress as well is really nice, long grey midi dress, but it's a bit small for me and I don't really wear it, so, and it's grey, so, you know, gonna get rid of that one or sell it, sorry. This black skimpy, like, going out top, going out dress, so cute, I wore it in uni, I haven't worn it since. But I think it's something that I might need in the future, just like as a little slutty black dress. So I'm gonna keep it. And probably not wear it again and get rid of it in 10 years, but I'm gonna keep it for now. This like gray vest top, like mock turtleneck, I'm not gonna keep. I never wear it. It's gray. A lot of my clothing was apparently gray. This is a cute little t-shirt that I've completely forgotten about. I'm gonna get this out and keep this. White cropped jumper sell cute little going out top mostly for new year's eve i'm definitely going to keep but it's going to go like away in my wardrobe because it's so specific i don't think i would wear this on a regular night out this is a very faded t-shirt and i don't think it's going to do anyone any favors i don't think the charity store is probably going to accept this so i think i'm going to recycle this I need to find somewhere that does recycling in London. If you know anywhere, please let me know. Cute little blue crop top, but just not my style anymore. So I'm going to probably donate that. This dress, really cute. Just like a little dusty pink mini dress number, but I just don't have the need for this anymore. And I'm keeping the black one because it's a lot more versatile. So I think I'll sell this one. Oh, this is like a zebra print mini dress that I wore for a bachelor's like sorry bachelorette party and this is why i don't buy things for events anymore because you literally end up wearing it once and never again like i'm just gonna sell this it's cute but it's just not my style and i never would have worn it normally okay cool and then just the dresses to go and then we need to get all of my autumn stuff out and review that okay cool long midi dress um i don't necessarily think this is really flattering for me, so I'm probably gonna get rid of it. I'll sell it. When I say get rid, I either mean sell or donate. I'm not throwing anything in landfill, do not worry. This cute, ooh, cute mini dress. This is actually my sister's old one. It doesn't fit me properly. I stole it because I like the pattern, but it doesn't fit me. So that's getting donated. This little orange number, super cute. Wore it this summer quite a bit. So I'm gonna keep it for next summer. Can you tell I'm getting tired of this? <laughs> I feel like my voice is so monotonous now. This is a midi dress that I bought a couple of years ago. I don't, I don't love it anymore. Um, and the pattern, apparently I really liked animal print at some point, but I, do, I don't like it now. So I'm going to sell that. This is definitely summer, a uh, cute little mini dress, wrapped mini dress, I'm gonna keep that. This is my gorgeous, it's inside out, so you might not recognize it, but it's this dress here with the flowers that I've worn so much. Um, do I keep it out for winter though? I will most probably not wear it for winter, so I think I'll put it away um, and get it out in spring. Tartan dress, definitely keeping out. This white dress I styled the other day with a jumper and it looked really cute. So I wouldn't wear it on its own right now, but I'm gonna keep it out maybe until like the end, end of autumn and let the temperatures not wear like skirts and stuff. I just have like a black 
um, long dress, which I keep out in my wardrobes at all times because it's so versatile. So I'll definitely be keeping that out. Okay, I'm so tired, but let's just get the bag of my autumn stuff and review that and then we're done and we just need to put everything away. This really pretty corduroy dress that I have, I'm definitely gonna keep out. I love to wear it on Christmas day. It's kind of become a tradition at this point. My sister laughs at me for it, but it's so cute. I love wearing this too, especially like with a turtleneck underneath, like a white turtleneck underneath. Um, so these are coming out. Right, this dress is cute, but my boyfriend thinks it's mumsy, I think because of the floral pattern and I'm not 100% on it, but I do like it. I think what I'm gonna do is keep it out and just review how much I wear it and then I might sell it in the spring. This is just like a gray mock neck turtleneck, but I don't wear it and it's gray, so it's getting sold. <laughs> Right, long like a uh, sweater dress. It's too long for me to really show you, but I do like this. It's so cozy, so I'm definitely gonna keep it and get it out. Okay, next I have a little tie-dye hoodie, um, which really should have been in the summer stuff. I think what I'll do is I'll keep it. Oh, I don't like it. It's too childish. And I don't say that like in a mean way but like it is, it's it's childish to me. So I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna sell it. Okay, I have like a black thin bodysuit, which has like a turtleneck. And I think I will be keeping that because it's so versatile. I have a wool jumper, which uh, is too small for me. So I will probably sell that. Another like jumper, which is really, really cute, but again, too small for me. I think this is like from, sixth form so like six years ago and then i have this like ultra fluffy hoodie um which is really really nice but i don't wear and i won't wear so i think i will sell it on done let's put it all back in the wardrobe and sort out the wardrobe but so happy i'm done the absolute state of the place now it's done and everything's like been reviewed that is ridiculous. This is just covering so much as well. Oh, let's put it all away. On the right hand side, I've actually managed to hang my belts up, which just gives me a bit more space and like visibility of them. I've got my blazer, all my dresses. It then goes into trousers and skirts. And then on the other side, I have like t-shirts into like blouses. And then I have actually put my jumpers at the bottom. Um, just because I said I know you're not supposed to hang them up. So yeah, ready to shop some more and fill my wardrobe back up.